Hi friends, thanks for joining me for another home update over here at Wani's house. So we're in my upstairs guest bathroom. This is a space that I have not done any updates to probably in the last three, four years. So I think it is about time for us to update this space. So as you see, everything in here is just still build a grade and we will be updating those things um, in the near future. But right now, I just want to make it a little bit prettier. And so this area is um, the bathroom that is utilized mostly for my office as well as when we have guests, right? And so I like for it to mainly be complimentary as to how the guest bedroom is set up. And so we are definitely going to change the feel and the look of this space. I want to bright it up, brighten it up. So I'm going to use a lot of accents that are very um, soothing, very bright, as well as a lot of, I'm bringing a lot of modern touches. So right now I'm just going to clean my bathroom. I've taken everything out as you see, and then we will begin placing items back in here and decorating. Have you guys used the Peniel um, Pine Cleaner? It's sort of like Pine Saw. Guys, this stuff is so good. I say it is better than Pine Saw, but and it is, it is a whole lot um, less in, inexpensive. You can pick it up almost anywhere, and but when I see it, I get it. And um, so it's like a Spanish Pine Saw. I have been using it ever since I was in LA and when they started um, shipping it here and I began to see it on the shelves, I would pick it up. It is so good and your bathroom smells amazing. So I'm adding the um, shower liner here and the curtains here I was had been searching for some that had a little bit more color a little bit more modern I have not come across them but when I do I will definitely share them so I went into my stash and I pulled out some um, curtain panels the actual curtain panels that I'm gonna use here and I think it will definitely um, convey the feel that I want to um, bring in this space so I'm getting my steamer and I'm just going to steam clean my floors and you see I put a little bit of the finial on the floor and we're just gonna steam it away
So I'm going to add the panels that I was just telling you about. And actually, I really like using actual curtains instead of shower curtains if I can. I think the actual curtains really give you a lot of versatility and the fact that in the bathroom, I don't mind using grommets. Any other time, I don't like grommets. But if you find the perfect curtains that you like and just use curtain clips, and they have those in a lot of different designs, a lot of different colors, you can actually create a more luxurious look and feel to your um, area. I ain't got a single damn left to make Cause I'm tired of being sort of fancy And I certainly don't believe in destiny But sometimes I wonder if it's meant to be At this point I feel like I got a history With how I fall too hard with boys initially I'm trying not to take it too personally Maybe the romantics just ain't it for me Like how And you know, when I'm decorating, I always step back to get an aerial view of um, the space that I am styling. And so I'm bringing up my rod here. It's just a tension rod. And I'm going to bring it up high because, of course, that's a really good trick. It makes the room look taller and wider. And this room is actually a little tight, which is kind of crazy with the angles and filming. But I think... Um, I'm able to convey what I'm doing over here. So I put down this mat here also in a very neutral color and a neutral tone. And then we'll just gonna continue to build up our space. Now this is a rack that I picked up a couple of years ago from Burlington's because I needed um, another like piece of furniture in here that could be functional. I don't want people going into the linen closets. One, because my linen closet is a mess. That's the, one of the next product, uh, projects we have coming up. But I wanted to have things out and readily accessible for people to use when they come and they're using this space. So everything that is out are things that I expect for people to use um, while they're here at um, staying at my house. So like I said, I want to bring things in the space that are actually usable um, by my guests. So I brought in these towels, some white towels, some um, beige towels. And then I have one towel that has like a mixture of white, beige, and grays. And so I think I thought this towel would be great because it is going to pull in the other colors that you will see in my inspiration piece when I put um, when I present it to you. This is a space that I come to when I am getting ready to go to work. And so in that basket, I place all of my essentials. And just by placing it here on this stand, it's um, readily accessible and it looks great in this space. Now, this is my inspiration piece. I think it is very modern. It is very subdued, and I think it'll look great in this space here. And so um, I'm going to put it here on this wall. And I also like how it looks in, in contrast with the paint color. I think it looks very, very nice. And it is going to definitely be an accent to the other items that we put in this area, like this storage box here. It is like um, a straw type box. You see it has a tassel in the front. It has a very like tropical type design on the back. And I'm going to place this here on the hood of my toilet. And in here, you guys know that I use um, hand towels in this space in lieu of paper towels. And so I'm going to put some plastic in here to give it some elevation. And then we're going to put some towels at the bottom. And then I rolled my hand towels and I'm placing them in here in um, coordinating color. So the cream or the beige and the white is what you'll be seeing me place in this um, container.
Oh, that's cute. So I brought in this vase here and I thought that it would be perfect for this space. And so what I want to do now is I want to put some type of arrangement in here that makes your eyes go up, right? And so I brought in these gold sticks, some beige sticks, some brown sticks, and um, I think it's so pretty because in our picture, we have gold, browns, a little bit of gray, a lot of the beige coloring. And so just going to play around with this arrangement and then we're going to go ahead and add some complementary pieces. Now this is um, a soap dispenser that I picked up from Ross. It was on clearance for $4.99 and I liked it because the top of it is actually wood. So you have the cream and the wood. You see how we're bringing in natural elements to our design and so in this will give me the opportunity to bring in more wood, more natural pieces. I love the color combination. And then this is the Strawberry Pound Cake Hand Soap from Bath & Body Works. That is what I'm gonna put in here. And so I, I love this, it smells so good. And since really I'm in this bathroom and when I'm not and we have guests, my guests use this bathroom, they will have um, this in here to use and it, it just smells amazing. So next I'm going to add something gold and it's this candle holder and I'm also going to use, this is my favorite candle by Bath & Body Works, it's Isla Margarita. It is the perfect summer candle but because it's sunny outside I'm going to burn it now. So I've been burning it but I love this candle. It is so fresh, so vibrant, so sweet. So now we're at another day and so I knew I wanted to place something here on this wall. Did not know if I wanted to be art or something, but I realized in all of my bathrooms here in my home, I had to place some shelving somewhere. And I went to Ross, my favorite store, and this is what I found. It is this real pretty um, wooden shelf, bringing in the wood elements here, wooden shelf, and on the brackets, it is gold and it has this or real pretty ornate design and I'm trying to decide do I want it high do I want it low and my goal is I want to find another one because I would love to have two of these here my particular Ross they had two with that had silver brackets I wanted gold so I picked up the one that I saw and then we would definitely be on the lookout for a compliment a complimentary um shelving unit here but i needed something so to bring your eyes up and i wanted to bring in the wooden tones so you guys know my trick where there are two holes the two holes on your um hanging piece i place the painter's tape over that i mark where the holes are place the tape on the wall use my level to make sure that it is all level and even i adjust it as needed and then i go ahead and screw in the piece so this is what i've been doing when i do pictures now and um, any type of wall art it makes it so much easier
So I had the mister come in here and assist me with this um, holding this um, shelving unit here in place. And you see, I still have my tape here and everything is, um, is looking really good. I'm going to put in my um, last couple of screws and then we'll begin the, si the styling process. So looking back at this and trying to figure out what I wanted to place on the shelving, I knew I wanted to have things that I actually will reach for and use while I'm in here. So I decided to take this floor arrangement and place it up here um, also to bring the eyes up and I can always change out the florals. And then what I want to do is I'm going to um, shop my home and I shop my home looking for things that I can like pretty up the space. So I have this glass um, apothecary jar here and I, y'all know how I, your girl loves her a good soap. And so this is my Dr. Teal's Epsom salt. I love all of Dr. Teal's Epsom salt. And I went into Roses and I don't know if I shared it with you in a video and they had like an orange one that I wanted to try. Um, but I love the eucalyptus one because I think it is so soothing and relaxing. So I put some Epsom salt in this small apothecary jar and then I go and look for other things that I have. So I also um, had went to a recent trip to Home Goods and I found this little um, container here and the top of it is wood. You see, I'm bringing in more wood accents with accessories. And so in that, I placed my Q-tips and then I will have another um, piece of another container and I will place cotton balls, cotton swabs in those. So the space won't look stale. I put, brought in this um, gold riser. It actually has a dome top, but I'm only using the bottom here. And so I love this because it brings some more of the gold colors into this space and it brings the space together. And then I have some um, wash towels, some hand towels here that I have folded in complementary colors. And then once again, we're bringing more wood accents in. These are just some beads you guys have seen these over the years and it just has my initial on it and mr b well not initial first letter of our name and so um i placed this here and i really love how this is coming together it looks it's brightening up the space because of the pieces that we are used are in brighter tones and we're bringing in some warmth warmth 
with the woods and all of the basket tones and things like that. This is the other container that I told you guys that I had. I love the shape of this container and the top of it is a wooden top. And so where we had the planter um, in our arrangement, I decided that I am going to place the cotton balls here because when I'm cleaning my face and these are something that I reach for all the time, it will be accessible here on the counter. So I'm going to place these here and then you see the top of this once again is wood, bringing in those beautiful wooden tones and it looks great right here next to our um, soap dispenser. Now, lastly, I'm going to add a little something else to enhance the um, experience of the room. And this is a room spray. It's Magnolia Blossom. And guys, I love the bottle. I love how it looks. It has like um, flowers in here. There is look like a piece of um, a sponge or something like that in here. And the fragrance smells so good. And it is beautiful. Um, in the bottle and it is definitely has all the tones and colors that we're using in this space All right, my friends, so this is the final reveal of my guest bathroom. And you see all the updates that I made. I did not spend a lot of money, guys. I'm sure it was under $100 easily. And because nothing that I picked up and shared with you, the highest thing was the shelf, and that was $19.99. This um, storage box was $12.99. The flower, I'm sorry, the um, accent piece, the art, was $12.99. This um, room spray was $4.99. The other pieces you see, um, the apothecary jar I already had. The small little container was $6.99. And that was it. Maybe under $50. She did that and I totally enhanced the look and feel of this space and so can you simply shop your home pick up a little little pieces that you see here and there and make sure you have like an inspiration piece something that will anchor your space and that is all you need and your space will be beautiful as well so guys i'm about to go if you're new to my channel hi i'm wani and welcome to wani's house if you've liked what you've seen go ahead and hit that subscribe button as well as the notification bell so that you will not miss out on any of my upcoming uploads you can also check me out over on my social medias my instagram my tiktok as well as my facebook all of those you can find me at wani's house all right guys so i'm about to go but before i do you know what i always say the next time you're in town you can always stop by wani's house and i'll see you in the next video bye-bye